The amount of people that I saw that were like, wow, I'm so amazed. I had no idea that that was there. Uh, it was a little bit too many for me to be comfortable. Now, a lot of these things are probably in your owner's manual, but most of you guys are not going to read the owner's manual. I'm not. So these are going to be different things that you guys may know, may not know. I'm sure some of these are somewhat common, but a lot of people don't know about them. I've asked a few people about these different things throughout the list, and people have told me that, you know, they never knew. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Now I'm going to start this one off really, really simple, but you guys should stay tuned until the end because the one at the end is going to be something that's not super common, and a lot of you guys probably don't know about it. Not the cow. <laughs> so do stay tuned until then anyways jumping under the front floor mat here this is like a common not so common thing uh, if you guys use your jeeps for like jeep things then you'll know that this is here but if you don't then uh you know then you probably don't when you go and lift this guy up here you'll notice actually on the floor mat you get this here just kind of a little hole and you might be like why is that there you lift this carpet up you can even hardly tell actually on the carpet that it's there but when you go ahead and uh, get this guy out of the way several days later and you can see i'm not going to pop it off all the way but you can actually take this piece of carpet out and right down underneath there look at that there's a little drain plug so that's in the different footwell so if you guys are the type of people that actually use your jeep for jeep things Things, then you take the top off and the doors and all that kind of stuff and just leave it outside in the weather and it gets wet or you're off-roading mudding doing that kind of stuff that's gonna actually allow any water that gets into the into the interior and into the footwell to actually drain so like I said you can hardly even tell that it's under there if you uh, have never seen it or never taken it off I mean you can barely tell right there unless you get up close so that's what that is and I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably uh, curious about that one I know uh, my mom owns this one and I know she didn't know about that. For the next one, we're gonna go under the hood here. So, you know, obviously popping the latches. Uh, there's a couple different things under the hood that are not so, I guess, hidden, but people don't know about them. Now, once you get under the hood here, you can go ahead and go to your fuse box, which interesting angle for me to record at. But when you go ahead and pop this guy open, you'll, uh, you'll hopefully be able to find what I'm gonna talk about. So if you look at this fuse here, you can actually move it over in its slot. So there's two different slots here. You've got the one slot and then the two slots. So basically when you pop it out, it's got two different fuses, if that makes any sense. So you can either have the active So if you jump in here, you see this key icon right on the 12 volt DC outlet. Now that means that it only works when the car is on an accessory. So if we jump around to the back of the Jeep, which is kind of an interesting thing. I'm gonna be honest with you. But if you go back here, you can see that this one is just battery. So this one's a constant power, which is kind of interesting. And you can actually change the different setting of if it's on or off based on the positioning of that fuse. Obviously that one is in the owner's manual, uh, like I said. Uh, so that's one thing that you do want to look at first and uh, you'll be able to see. Uh, but it is in the owner's manual. And uh, like I said, none of us are reading that owner's manual, baby. No one's reading the owner's manual. It's 2022, baby. No one's reading owner's manuals. They're watching this video and they're learning hidden features instead of reading through the owner's manual. Nice. Now, following up on that same note, we're gonna go with another super uh, basic one that's not really anything, but people like to talk about this one online and on the forums. And if you actually lift open this center console here, you'll find a hidden storage compartment right here, which it's not really a hidden storage compartment, I'm gonna be honest with you. There is no space to store anything in there. But people like to call this a hidden storage compartment. I guess it kind of technically is. You could put like a dollar in there. I mean, let's grab a dollar here. All right, we got, we got a couple dollars and let's see what's gonna happen, you know? I guess you could technically stuff them in here like, like that maybe, I guess. And then close, close her on up so they're not out in the open. It, it's it's a possibility, but it's also just not really a hidden compartment or anything. It's it's whatever for the next one here We want to go ahead and pop the Jeep into run mode I guess I'll just turn it on because it doesn't really matter at this point But once we go into our settings here on the U connect here There's some different settings that a lot of people might not know about or they've never seen on my Grand Cherokee This is probably one question that I get asked a million different times about which it doesn't make any sense to me Because I've talked about it before but just in general people don't know that this setting even exists or that you can customize the themes So if you go into the your display settings and then you click set theme There's different theme options that you can change here Which will change the colors and of course change the look so if we go through, you can see this is Jeep 8. If you click Jeep 9, you go ahead and get this nice little track. 
Jeep 11, you get the little race guy, which is kind of weird on a Jeep that these are things. This one's got some snow or something, but you can see it changes the colors, the layout, the buttons, all that kind of stuff, which I wouldn't really classify that as like a hidden feature at all because a lot of people know about it. But like I said, a lot of people don't know about it. So I figured I'd throw it in this video because it is a Uconnect hidden feature, I guess, apparently, because nobody knows about it for no reason. I don't know why. So if you did not know about that, then there you go. There's a theme setting. It works on all the Uconnects. This one was a little bit interesting to me because, you know, coming from a Grand Cherokee, this isn't really an option or anything that I'd ever think about doing. But on the Wrangler here, you might have the top off, you might have the doors off, all that kind of stuff. So if you had the doors off here, and you actually went ahead and locked the vehicle. Full lock, you guys can see there, wait a little second. Let it, uh, let it do its thing, reset, do what it needs to do. And then if you actually got in it with the keys, and you press the brake and the start button. I don't think it's gonna work right now actually because it says that, but we're gonna go ahead and try it anyway. So if we press the brake and the start button, okay, it didn't work. Maybe you guys know down below how that feature works. Apparently I don't, like I said, I've never had a Wrangler Gladiator or anything like that, so I'm new here. But it doesn't work for me, so there's, I'm doing something wrong, I'm gonna be honest. Also guys, check out this nasty crack. I don't even know if you can see it on camera, but there's a nasty crack down this window. So, uh, you know, can you see it? Nope. Hopefully you can see it better here. You guys, there's a nasty crack in that back window. Which, it was not my fault, by the way. So, I know you guys are going to say that it was me down here, but it was not me. Again, with the not-so-hidden feature, but something that I've seen pretty much everybody in the Jeep community and any single forum ever that I looked up on, because like I said, I do my research for these videos. I watch a bunch of other videos, I look a bunch of things up, I compile the best things that I think, and then I make a, uh, a pretty decent video, I hope. I hope you guys enjoy it, but uh, you guys can see that there's a cutout here, so this one's obviously not going to be the exact same, but this area is usually a storage compartment, and for whatever reason, some people don't know that this lifts up and that there's a storage compartment under there, because the amount of people that I saw that were like, wow, I'm so amazed, I had no idea that that was there, uh, it was a little bit too many for me to be comfortable. And the same thing along with that, people didn't know that you could put the little bolts in here for like the door hinges and stuff like that. On that same note, there's some little bolts here, and uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's where the door hinges go for the roof and the windshield and the hinges and all that. But like I said, for whatever reason, there was way too many people that had no idea about that, which kind of blew my mind because like I said, I mean, it's right there, baby. It's right. It's, you didn't even look, you didn't even try. And on that same note, I don't want to do it, but I, I've, been, I've seen some things online that say that if you remove this tail light on the passenger side, there's like some sort of compartment that connects down to under here that you could theoretically put fish in or something like that uh, that was a big shout out to the reddit guys because they were talking about that like eight years ago not sure if it's on these new models but uh like i said i'm not gonna try it today your jeep toolkit should be good to uh, go ahead and open this i'm sure there's even some people that don't even know that you have a jeep toolkit don't even know where it comes from or anything like that so i can't really be of much help but there is a jeep little toolkit to take everything apart and take it off so uh yeah maybe you guys didn't know about that but yeah guys if you want more jeep wrangler content do make sure to subscribe down below low and uh, let me know what you're looking for and i'll see if i can make it big things on the way with the grand cherokee with the gladiator with the wrangler we got the whole jeep family in here so do check that out uh, down below and i will catch you in the next video peace